Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Today's topic we're gonna talk about is going to be supplements that we could be adding to our food to enhance our fish's quality of life. We're gonna go through it. I know I've already done a video on this topic, but there is an update to the mix that I use, and that's what we're gonna cover today. Fish foods. When we talk about fish foods, we're gonna talk about what they're all lacking, and this goes all the way across the board. No matter what type of fish food you use, if you're using pellets, now I'm not really talking about flakes too much here, guys. I'm talking about the mass production of pellet fish food. The process of making these pellets, when they are heated and dried, they all lose a bunch of vitamins and minerals during that process. That's totally normal, so because of that, is why it's a good idea to add some supplements to your fish food to just enhance what they are already losing. You know, if they're losing some vitamins and you add some supplements to it, that's gonna bring the vitamins right back to it. So for some people that believe that maybe adding these extra supplements is kind of a waste and the fish do fine with the food, yeah, I'm sure they do fine with just the food, but this is something that you can do extra for your fish. Give them a little bit of extra health extra life longevity, a little bit of extra color too in some fish. So let's get into it real quick with the very first one. I'm gonna start off with, I'm gonna go right off the bat guys and tell you what the update is. So previously, one of the supplements that we used to use was called Vitality. Now the reason why I chose to use Vitality and through all the uh, articles that I read online that where I found that Vitality was a good one to use is because of the vitamin C that's found inside the Vitality. The vitamin C in Vitality is what we were after because vitamin C is one of the most important vitamins that fish need to keep their immune systems up. We all know what happens when our fish get sick, right? It's because they get stressed out for some type of reason and when they get stressed, their immune systems uh, get weaker and now they're susceptible to all kinds of diseases and all kinds of crazy stuff So we need to keep their immune system up and strong and they get that from the vitamin C funny, right? Just like us vitamin C gives us the same benefits So we use vitality because the vitamin C was in there even though vitality was made specifically actually for reef tanks for saltwater reef tanks. But what we were after was the vitamin C in Vitality. Well, after talking with Seachem and doing some discussion, Seachem also makes a product called Nourish, guys. And Nourish is the product that we're going to update in this mixture. Don't worry, I'm gonna go through the whole thing just in case you haven't seen the video on the supplements. But this is the update. The reason why we're gonna switch to Nourish now, guys, is because Nourish contains one element that is specifically beneficial for freshwater fish, and that is the iodide. The iodide in Nourish is what is beneficial for freshwater fish, and the iodide is not found in Vitality. But here's the kicker, right? The reason why myself and many others have went with Vitality in the past because of the vitamin C, well, it was unknown to a lot of people, including myself, that Nourish also contains vitamin C. It's not that visible on the Seachem website, but because I've had discussions with Seachem back and forth and we kind of went through the ingredients, Nourish also contains that very important vitamin C, but it also has the iodide, which is specifically beneficial for freshwater fish. So these are the vitamins that you need for freshwater fish. Go with Nourish instead of Vitality. This is it right here. Next one we're gonna go through is your Vitachem. Vitachem is made by uh, Boyd Enterprises. Vitachem is basically, guys, just a multivitamin. This has a bunch of amino acids and vitamins that are missing from the foods themselves. They just don't have these vitamins. This Vitachem bottle, and all you need is a couple of drops of this mixed into your food, and you're gonna get a plethora of vitamins, a plethora of amino acids. Everything that these other supplements are missing vitamin-wise is gonna be found right here in the Vitachem. Go with that. Okay. Next one we got is zooplankton, another one that is also meant for saltwater reef tanks. Zooplankton is basically food for coral in a saltwater reef tank. And what do we want out of corals? We want color out of our corals all the time. And this is where they get their color from. Zooplankton contains melanin, I believe it is, yes. Zooplankton contains melanin, which brings out the color in fish and coral that have high pigmentation. In other words, that have high color. So this helps boost their color. This is where your fish are gonna get the color from. They're gonna love this zooplankton just as much as any coral is gonna love zooplankton as well, okay? Last, but definitely not least, guys, is garlic guard. Now, garlic guard, some of you may be familiar with this, um, and you know that fish love the taste and the smell of garlic. Obviously, garlic guard is a food, is a flavor enhancer, but there's more benefits to garlic guard than just that. Um, garlic guard, also, the active ingredient in garlic is, is alanine, and alanine 
is great at helping prevent disease. It keeps, it, it boosts your fish's health and it wards off a lot of diseases straight from the garlic. So this kind of stuff, even if you're not using anything else, garlic guard is something that is a very great supplement to use. If it's the only thing you're gonna use out of all of these, go with the garlic guard because it's gonna keep your fish healthy. It's also gonna help with those finicky eaters that maybe you wanna try a new food and they don't really want it too much. You, you drop a little garlic guard in there and they're gonna go after it like animals. So just to recap guys, these are the four products. And what you wanna do is take any, any pellet fish food that you currently use. It doesn't matter which one it is. You take your normal dosage amount, you put it into a little cup or a container, and then you're gonna dose with one part each one of these. So for me, because I, I feed a, a big portion to that big 210 over there, I usually use one capful of each one, but you don't have to use a whole capful. Maybe you could go with half, half a capful. And for the Vitachem, this all you need is a couple of drops, maybe five, five to 10 drops of this into your food. And you're gonna wanna let those pellets soak with all of these products for about five to 10 minutes, maybe even 15. You basically want all the liquid to almost be gone so that the pellets soak up all of the liquid. Once your pellet food looks that way with almost no liquid in it at all, now you know they're ready to go, you can feed that right to your fish. Also, one other thing is, if you wanted to make a mixture that will last you a couple of days, you can also, but you will need to refrigerate what you don't feed in the moment. Now, I would, I think that going a week, making a week's worth of food is probably too long because I'm sure even though it's in the fridge, you're gonna lose some of the vitamins when you wait that long. But I would say the safe bet is about two to three days. If you make two to three days worth of portion, that should be good to go for those two to three days. Just make sure you refrigerate the portion that you don't use. One more thing, guys, that I almost forgot. It's easy to say, feed this every day, right? I used to say that myself, and I used to do that as well. But it can get difficult mixing this up all the time. Even if you are storing it for two to three days in the fridge, you know, sometimes we get home from work, we're a little bit tired, we, we know the fish has to eat, so we just grab the pellets, drop it in there, good, the fish are fed. All right, let me go hang out, lay down, sit on the couch, relax for a little bit, I get it. <laughs> so at minimum, guys, I would say try to feed this at least three to four times a week. It doesn't have to be all seven days, but at least three to four times a week. Um, if you could do twice, okay, twice, twice a week, you're still gonna see some beneficial changes in your fish using this three to four times a week, maybe even just twice a week. All right, all right guys, hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully you guys try it. If you're willing to try it and you see any changes in your fish, please let me know. Leave a comment below. I wanna know how your fish are doing trying these supplements out. So give it a shot guys, and let me know how it goes in the comments below. Look forward to hearing about it.